Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and well, we're with a very, very, very special person, uh, Owen. Owen. And, uh, you know, Owen does this black stuff coffee. And we're going to be talking more about the coffee, but today we're with the beautiful 2011 Subaru Outback. We're going to be kicking it off with an engine flush, show them that stuff right there. This is going to be going in, getting all the carbon deposits out of the engine. Well, let's go ahead and throw it in. Now, before we flush her, we want to give you a little before and after. This will probably be a little startling. Owen, start her up. <laughs> All right, this is Owen's very first engine flush and it happens to be his uh, his daily driver. So we're gonna pop, her, pop our safety seal. It's like a little teeny tab. And this uh, goes in every first switch over to AMS oil. You don't have to flush it every time. A lot of people ask me. And on diesels, I recommend every time because they have the turbo and they have a lot of soot in the oil. So it's good on that. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it in. You'll see the thin detergent. It's got that nice golden color. And believe it or not, this actually treats up to 10 quarts of oil pretty well. I've done uh, flushes on diesel trucks and it treats that 10 quarts like nothing. So that's in. So now all we do is idle her for 15 minutes. I'm gonna motor up and let her idle for 15 minutes. We're good to go. Beautiful. That's it. You just let it sit there and idle away you don't rev it you don't have to drive it just let it idle well she's idling for 15 minutes well we're gonna throw in our fuel additive this is the pi performance improver this is a proprietary fuel additive this uh, cleans the valves cleans all the carbon deposits around the combustion chamber you can shove it in all the way boom and it's got the gasless gas cap compatible tip so you can stick it in and you can yank it out which is great and this goes in every 4,000 miles. So it's something you just do a couple times a year. And uh, well, you're gonna hear the difference. The cracker loose, we got our 14 millimeter socket. Go ahead and crack her loose. Beautiful, that's good. And now you can switch up, use the other wrench. Or if it's real loose, you can do it by finger. Yeah, it's loose. All right, and just keep going. And then right when it feels like it's getting ready to come, just yank out and it could splash a little bit, but we'll be good. Trust your intuitions. <laughs> Beautiful. Cool. So he was a little slow, but we let him be natural with it. So how, how hot is it still? It's warm. It's cool. Yeah. So you see it comes out like water and it sounds like water. All right, now it's time to go ahead and crack loose our oil filter right there. Very, very, very tight spot. And just keep going, make sure you grab, got a good hold of it and don't let it drop. Keep going. Keep going, we should be giving birth to an oil filter. Is she coming? Almost there. All right. Keep going. You're getting close. Yeah, real close. It's going to let go soon. There's a lot of threads up there. Oh, yeah. Some of them thread a half there inch. There we go. Yep, and just dump it. Let, it. let the oil dump in there. Good. So there's our cheapy little OEM filter. And we're going to show you the difference from Amsoil right now. All right, it's that time to prime our oil filter, but you know, first let's give you a little close up of what they look like. So I'm gonna come on in here, and as I come in, you're gonna see the old filter. You'll see how much of a softy it is. Very, very soft. And now you're gonna see the inside of both. Now, Owen, you can set that down in the car right here, it's fine. And you're gonna go ahead and open that up. 
And this is our beautiful one year, 15,000 mile oil filter. Filters at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. And we're gonna rip her out of her package. Now how this is different is it's upgraded quite a bit. It's got the nice safety seal. You can pop her out, just tear her right into her. And now we're gonna show the threads in the anti-drain back valve. Now hold this one and that one side by side. And you're gonna see how this is a more sturdy one piece. And it's a little bit better shaped, has a little bit better flow characteristics. On the AMS oil one, it also has a better anti-drain back valve. And you'll see how that valve goes deep into the center. That's a silicone. It doesn't deform over the course of the year. And that protects you on your cold starts. So when you do your cold start, about 80% of the wear in your engine is during that first initial cha-cha-cha. So what do you do? You use the right stuff. Also, this has a nice non-slip coating, which gives you better grip. And since this car has such a teeny weeny 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 oil filter, I personally recommend with my experience, um, you just change the filter at 10,000 miles. I wouldn't go the full 15, and that's just a per this vehicle kind of situation. Now the oil we're gonna be priming it with is the Amsoil Signature Series, 100% synthetic. This oil outperforms the best Mobile One by four times. That's Mobile One Extended Performance. And you'll see that, that's a very popular motor oil. And uh, the other thing is the um, uh, flow characteristics. This flows at negative 60 degrees below zero. So you have a much faster cold start and uh, that keeps your engine protected and it doesn't burn off like the other oil so it burns off at half the rate of the mobile one extended performance so you're not adding as much oil less money and what do we do we'll prime her up come on over here Colin, uh, owen and we're gonna prime her up hold it up a little higher right here perfect and now you're gonna see the liquid gold go and follow the oil we're gonna get a little closer follow the oil and coming over Keep going in a little more, and you'll see it slowly booble over the top. Right there, we should have a couple of little air bubbles popping in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come with two finger, just like this, get her nice and wet on our rubbers. Is as you know, the wetter the better. And uh, once our threads are nice and wet, it's always a sure bet. And uh, we can confidently thread her on and we're good to go. All right, it's that time to feel her up. We're gonna be putting in 4.4 quarts of Amsoil Signature Series. And this is the best of the best, so Owen's gonna be good for the whole year. So we'll give him the liquid gold. Go ahead, and you got the honors of pouring in the very first quart. So we'll give you guys a close up of what it looks like. Ah, here we go. Let's do it. Beautiful, one-handed. Buttery. He's natural. And now we'll go for a crazy tall pour. Let's do it. We'll go ahead and lift her up a little bit. All right. Here we go. We'll start out righty. Nothing like cracking open a nice fresh bottle. So if you love your car, this is what you do. Wow, this one's a little bit of a gulper. It's making a little bit of that sound. Mm -hmm. That's how we know it sounds good. You know, I say uh, it's so good you can even feel the protection. Well, we're gonna be motoring her up. All right, on the count of three, our first startup with Amsoil. Three, two, one. Whoa. Super smooth. Wow. Buttery. You can feel it already? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Smooth. We have the AC off on her? Yeah. All right, let's see what she sounds like. Right, so we're yachting a bot and uh, we're getting some driving impressions with Owen and uh, 
I don't even know what to say. We went about what 0.3 mile so far. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> We're just starting, but it was really smooth on the on the low gears. Like, huh? It's usually um, it's like complaining noises. And sort, I just sort of assume that's how it was, you know. And it's uh, but it's like sweet and soft purring kind of more like a cat than a old dying cat. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And this is a manual. He's one of the traditionals. Yeah. Very few people actually have enough guts to drive a manual. So what's the mileage you usually get out of this thing? Uh, you can see right now it's like 26. All right. We're at like three fourths tank, so that's a that's kind of like half half highway, half city. Uh-huh. That's great. That's really good for an all-wheel drive. Yeah, it's usually, you know, you can get like 30 if I'm doing an only highway, like interstate drive. Otherwise, like low end would be 25 if, uh, you know, I tried going fast, which you can't really do. You know, like trying to get those Gs in the Outback. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an oxymoron. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the studios and we're going to be talking about some of this black stuff here. See that there? Well, we'll see you back and we're going to talk a little bit about it. All right, so we're back from the test drive and uh, we got to get the impressions with Owen. So Owen, what was it and, and how was it from what you would expect with just changing the oil? I mean, I never really thought of changing your oil as something that would make a big difference. I mean, there had been times in the past where maybe I hadn't, like I'd extended and hadn't changed the oil in a while and, and it was, you know, something got really bad and then it wasn't there anymore. But there's a, like a performance difference here that I've noticed and I just got my car, you know, tuned up, you know, like a sort of a do all the things check you know check the list like uh you know i've done the hundred thousand mile the hundred twenty thousand mile and uh you know just done a bunch of service on it so you know i kind of assumed like everything was you know looked at and done but there's obviously like this huge gap of other things that are just not being addressed and i think it's because you know there's a certain bang for the buck and the, those dealerships maybe just go for the the big money items and uh and skip out yeah. on maybe some of this uh you know quality stuff that's you know ab about the health of your car really and and it shows in you can hear it and it shows in you know the acceleration and just just turning the thing on it sounded like it was sick you know and i told them at the dealership and they're like oh that's just you know it's just a thing rattling around and uh but you change you, you know change the oil and the filter like yeah. holy cow like you can make a huge difference so I, i'm pretty surprised that's awesome yeah and what goodies do we have in here? Uh, Let's so take a look. This is dun, 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 oh my god! A look sexy at that. bag of coffee, <laughs> super hot, red, ready to rock. Look at that! This is your synthetic oil protection. What are the better YouTube channel official coffee that I've helped set up uh, for even with my coffee company called Cafe de Parizo, uh, based here in Las Vegas, but we shipped all 50 states. And we traditionally, you know, we've done a lot of partnerships with charities and nonprofits, but we love doing it too for, you know, small businesses, local businesses, uh, you know, people I know who, you know, I care about and, and to help them succeed. And, and this is just so cool to have at, in your home so you can have a little bit of synthetic oil protection. You know, you can do good things for your car, but, you know, coffee is actually really good for you. And this stuff is, this is high quality, you know, we do like, really put in a lot of care in our roasting, in our processes, in uh, how we source to try to get really high quality stuff. I, you know you know when you're buying from us, when you get this stuff, it's gonna be fresh roasted. And we've even got Eben's favorite coffee on there. We had them sample a bunch of our beans. This one was a favorite, so this is, that's, uh, that's for you. Yeah. And, and there's a link on here too. Yeah, take a look. So. And, and believe it or not, this is actually one of my favorites as an espresso, I think, right? Yeah, it's great as espresso. And this is Cafe di Parizo. Yeah. That's the site. 
And uh, so if you go to supportwith.coffee slash SOP yep. for synthetic oil protection, so support with dot, instead of dot com, it's dot coffee, supportwith.coffee slash SOP, website pops up, you can place an order, you can do a one-time order, you can subscribe, you could choose like monthly delivery or every two months and get your coffee. These are 12 ounce bags, you get whole bean and we can do custom grind types up to six different grinds depending on how you brew your coffee wow, six so you with the same kind of quality change that happens with the car you guys can upgrade your coffee game and this stuff is super bomb wow and yeah and i and i tried a bunch of coffees he makes and i tell you what this uh this blend just has an unusually uh great way about it with the uh espresso sometimes i do uh i do my french presses um, I would say about 20% of the time I'm doing straight coffee with nothing in it. I would say 80% I'm doing a Breve Cappuccino, which is half and half steamed into an espresso. And then I have my maybe five or 10% I'm doing my heavy whipping cream, which is great, but it's a lot of fat. But hey, fat's not bad for you. The sugar's what kills you. But uh, I tell you what, I love that freaking heavy whipping cream. It's good stuff. You got to try a cappuccino with heavy whipping cream next time you go somewhere, whether it be Stoibucks, whether it be uh, your uh, Pete's Coffee, whether it be a, a you know local roaster like Desert Wind, which we'll take a look at Desert Wind and how I enjoy my coffee right here. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I have my cappuccino prepared. So we got our non-GMO organic half and half and that's what I usually have sometimes I have heavy whipping cream so you'll see we're just gonna steam the milk give a little shake -a Sorry. it's okay it's okay so now he's grabbing the uh, grounds he packs it so this is like a uh, espresso shot one espresso shot now it's gonna drip There it goes. So like half? Huh? Yep. Perfect. Good morning. Beautiful. Hi. You ride with you my phone? It's good. It's okay. <laughs> Just gonna show them how I usually have it. That's it. Perfect. Beautiful. The finishing touch. <laughs> awesome. All right, good to go. So this is how I usually uh, have my cappuccino, just like this. This is with uh, half and half, and it only has a couple grams of sugar, so nothing too uh, you know, harsh on the body. And then of course, if you like it sweet, you can always put honey in it. Sometimes I do a little honey. Sometimes I drink it totally black. So if I'm off you know, the milk or any of that type of stuff for a couple days, sometimes I just do straight espresso shots. So I do do that sometimes. I also do black coffee sometimes with no half and half at all. And then sometimes, I'll even get a uh, bottle of heavy whipping cream and I'll use heavy whipping cream as the, uh, the uh, cappuccino. So, uh, you know, just different levels of fat, different flavor. You're gonna find that the heavy whipping cream tastes the best. It always is the creamiest. It has more flavor and just fat, fat, fat is always better flavor. And then of course, if you want that sweet element, you add a little honey to heavy whipping cream and oh my God, you'll get you'll get slapped in a world of flavor. So that's my favorite. If, uh, if I like, if I'm really indulging and I want something really good, sweet, I do the heavy whip and then I do the, the uh, honey and that's my favorite. So that's how I usually have it. We're here at Desert Wind. Pretty cool little place uh, right around the block where I live. That's the logo. You'll see it online and you'll see a couple other video clips here. So I just wanted to show that. And uh, now we'll head back with Owen 
and we'll wrap up the video. So yeah, so in the description section, you'll see everything with uh, Owen's company. This is the company. You'll see that all down there. Plus my link is down in the description section. If you're new to YouTube, you click the little reverse down arrow, click that, it pops down. You'll see all my links right there. Now we were gonna ask Owen one more thing. Uh, I think this is his first oil change. Kind of how hard was it on a scale of one to 10? What did you expect with it? I mean, I, like I've, I've seen a lot of people do it before and um, you know, I didn't think it would be very difficult per se to do like an oil change, but um, you know, Eben's got all the equipment too. So, and, and Subaru's a little bit more of a, it's not really a, a hobbyist like tinker car. Like you can't really take things apart as easily as with other vehicles. So um, there's a couple things with like changing out the oil filter that was a little bit uh, more challenging than I thought it would be. But once thing is once you know how to do it once, you can do it a hundred times pretty easily and you know what to expect. So that's really all it is with this. So now I know kind of like, you know, what is the setup, how long it takes, what to do. Um, and as long as you know, or you write it down, it's like, it's a pretty simple process. So I think it'd be really easy to do. And it's kind of empowering too, once you know how to do it, especially if, if there's something that has a little bit of a challenge, you know, you know, okay, I'm one up now. I can, I can do this. Awesome. Yeah. So Thanks thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. You're the best. Yeah. Good times. Thanks Owen. Yeah. For the sure. craftsmanship, master craftsman. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is just tap the button right here and then you'll see the notification bell, tap that, and that way you'll be notified when we post a new video later. And remember, every last Saturday of the month, we have Eben's giveaway. To be entered, all you do is leave a comment within the first 30 minutes of this video.